Have you ever wondered why orthodontists take out teeth for braces? Well, it's Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics, and I'm gonna go through the top three reasons why we take out teeth for braces. All right, guys, caveat here. I do not particularly like taking teeth out for braces. I think if you take them out too frequently or without perfect or very, very good reasoning, you can actually cause some damage. There's a couple things you can do Especially now we realize this. It used to be that 30 years ago, everybody got teeth taken out for braces. And now we realize that that is probably a bad thing. We should not be doing that. And one of the reasons is this. If you take out teeth and you really don't need to take out teeth because you thought maybe, you used to think that these teeth need to be in this exact ideal position, which is kind of like an old school way of thinking. But if you're taking out teeth and you did not need to take out teeth, what happened was is the teeth would start coming backwards and then your tongue would get constricted because the tongue has nowhere to go. It may get pushed back into your throat. And what that means is that your tongue gets pushed back, which actually constricts your airway. Although slightly, it does a little bit. And that can lead to very negative things like sleep apnea, potential getting up too much in the night because of urination, headaches. There's all these different issues that can happen because you took out teeth when you actually did not need to. So that's my caveat right there. So I don't particularly like taking out teeth, but there are certain conditions where you just have to. There, there's just not many ways around it. So reason number one, the teeth are just crowded. There's nowhere for them to go. There's no amount of expansion or moving the teeth anteriorly. Nothing you can do to potentially get the teeth in the mouth. And what happens is you'll see this, the patients are coming in and there's no room for the teeth. You know, there'll be a tooth on top of a tooth on top of a tooth. And you just look inside the mouth and you're just like, ah, there's nowhere for anything to go. I can't expand enough. I can't protrude enough. There's nothing I can do. And there's just really no space. And that happens maybe one in 20. It's pretty rare, but that does happen. You know, there's just no room. Even if you were to do a phase one, which is when you do braces on younger kids and you're trying to expand and protrude and do all these things, sometimes people's mouths are just too small. And there could be some different evolutionary reasons for this, which I will not get into right now. But if you want to read a couple books, there's a great book. I think it's Breathe by James Nestor. Really, really great book that kind of goes through the evolution and potentially why we need more teeth taken out now than we did in the past. So that's one reason, you know, it's just too crowded. There's no room for the teeth and there's a bunch of reasons for that, which I'm not going to get into, but there's just no room. Reason number two, potentially the top and bottom teeth are too protruded. And this is a lot, this has to do with preference, personal preference. I don't mind teeth that look slightly protruded. It kind of gives you, you know, that nice big wide smile, but some people in some cultures hate that they hate that they hate that they hate that so what you can do is you can take out two top teeth and two bottom teeth and that allows us to bring the teeth back so if you feel like your top and bottom teeth are too protruded they stick out they're like a bug's bunny they look too far protruded you can potentially take out top teeth and bottom teeth to bring those protruded teeth back so it looks more up and down, looks a little bit more straight. Like I said, I'm not necessarily a big fan of this, but some people really insist on this and they really love it. And so that is the reason why we would sometimes take out top and bottom teeth. All right, the third reason why we may take out some teeth is because the top teeth are too protruded. So if the top teeth look like this, they're sticking out a lot compared to the bottom teeth. One of the things you can do is you can wear some rubber bands or different appliances to advance the lower jaw to make it so that the top and bottom teeth line up better, more like this. But sometimes those top teeth are just protruded. They're way too far out compared to the bottom. The mandible looks good. Everything looks good on the bottom, but these top teeth are just whoop, sticking out way too far and the patient wants them to be brought back. So what we would do in that case is we would actually take out just two top teeth. And so taking out those two top teeth will help bring those top teeth back to line with those bottoms just a little bit better. Number four, I'm gonna give you a little bonus one. This is why we sometimes take out one tooth. Sometimes teeth are just asymmetric. So if you look at people like Tom Cruise, I'm sure there's other actors like this, that their teeth are just kind of like, like slanted, you know, they're too far to the left or too far to the right, and they don't wanna do jaw surgery to align their jaws, or maybe it's just a tooth issue. Maybe they had a tooth taken out when they're young, so things have kind of gone wonky, they're to one side or the other. In that case, sometimes we will take out one tooth depending on where where it is to try to bring things back to normal. So say your lower midline is here, the middle of your lower teeth is here, but the middle of your top is way over here and it just looks real weird, like Tom Cruise. Look at his teeth, you'll see, it looks weird. His top teeth are way over here, right? So if they're way over here, sometimes you can take out one tooth on the opposite side 
to bring it back to make it look so it's very, very even. So that is something we do even on more rare, I'd say maybe one in 30 uh, patients come in where it's really asymmetric and most of the time that's because they're either missing a tooth when they were young, they had a tooth taken out because the dentist just took it out or maybe it's super crowded or the tooth is coming in up way up here and they for some reason took it out because it just didn't want it to be in there. But that is when teeth are looking a little bit asymmetric. So there you have it guys, those are the three and that plus the bonus of why we take out teeth. Remember the first one, teeth super duper crowded, there's nowhere for them to go, you have to take out some teeth. Reason number two, the top teeth are sticking out too much, so you have to take out some top teeth to bring them back. Reason number three, the top and bottom teeth are just too protruded, the patient hates that, they want to bring all the teeth back, so we take out some top teeth and some bottom teeth. And then the fourth bonus one is that we have teeth that are asymmetric and sort of trying to get things lined up again. So I hope that helps answer some of your questions. Remember, I'm putting out videos every single week to try to help you be the most informed patient ever. If you're ever in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, come on in, we're gonna treat you like family. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.